Welcome to Code Corner from Mayfield Renewables. My name is Ryan Mayfield, and I have Rye Heller with me today, our, one of our senior design engineers, um, to talk about NEC 705.12 B31 and B32. These are interconnection uh, sections, and these are some of the you know most common, I would say, uh, utilized sections that we that we use when we're interconnecting our PV systems to our utility systems. But let's talk about what those code sections are and what they say. So the first one is 705.12B31. And what this is saying is that we're gonna take the sum of 125% of the power source output circuit current and the rating of the overcurrent device protecting the bus bar. And those two, shall not exceed the ampacity of the bus bar. As we go through, there's gonna be some, some changes or some um, variances on this, so stick with us. Um, but what this is saying is we're gonna take the inverter output circuit, we're gonna multiply it by 125%. That becomes the amount of current that we are, that the bus bar will be subject to. We're gonna add that to the overcurrent device that's protecting the bus bar. And if those two don't exceed the bus bar rating, then you can put, the solar output breaker wherever you want on that bus bar is really what that comes down to. So that's just one of the ways that we can do connections to our bus bars. Uh, there's there's multiples in, in section B3. So the B31 is that one. And then we, we'll talk about B32 as well here today. Yeah, so B32 uh, known in the industry as 120% rule is, uh, is used a lot in the industry. Um, it Basically, if the math works out, you can put your uh, breaker at the opposite end of the bus bar from the main breaker. The calculation is a little bit complicated, just uh, have to read it closely, but basically uh, the sum of the PV AC output amps times 125% plus the main breaker rating uh, cannot be greater than 120% of the bus bar. And so if the math works out for you, you can go ahead and put your breaker at the opposite end of the bus bar. Um, if it doesn't work out for you, you may be able to derate the main breaker to make the math work, uh, but you just have to play with the numbers and see if you can do a load side connection. Yep. And then the last thing that I'll just add on there is that the there is a label that goes along with that um, if, if you do utilize this section. So um, you, you can't can't relocate the overcurrent device. Uh, and that's just a, a label that you have to put on there. So, so let's take a look at a couple images. I think that's always the most helpful to, to do this one. So Ryan, do you want to kind of walk us through sure. what's going on here? Yeah. So this is the B31 code that Ryan started out with. And so if your uh, PV system, your PVAC output times 125% plus the main breaker rating, uh, isn't greater than the bus rating, you can put your breaker anywhere you want. And so we're illustrating here a PV breaker being located actually at the top of the bus bar. And so if the math works out, you can go ahead and put your breaker anywhere you want. Yeah, and, and I'll just point out in our examples here, um, the math is you know conveniently um, done, but in this case, 160 amps times 125%, that is 200 amps. Uh, and so that's where we're getting, so it's not the, the rating of the breaker for the PV system, it's a 125% times the continuous output current. So um, it's that value plus the main service rating, that's what can, it cannot exceed the, the bus bar rating. So uh, that's you know, just one of the important distinctions. We are talking sometimes about the in the case of the main, it's the breaker rating. In the case of the inverter, it's the output current times 125%. And that comes into play here as well. So this is the um, B32 application. And so this is what Rai was talking about with the 120% rule. And so again, we're looking at an inverter has a continuous output current. In this case, it's 32 amps. This is a very, you know, this is the classic residential application in the industry really. Uh, where you walk up, you're installing a PV system, main service panel is 200 amps rated. That's just a common across the country type of panel that you'll walk up to. And you're putting an interactive inverter that has 32 amps of continuous output. 
32 amps times 1.25 happens to be 40 amps exactly. Uh, and so what we're saying here is that the sum of the continuous output current times 1.25 plus the sum of plus the breaker rating uh, cannot exceed 120% of the bus bar rating when those two are at the opposite end of the panel. So you, you see that we have our 40 amp breaker at the bottom of the panel. And the idea here is that there's nowhere along that bus bar that you're gonna have an overcurrent situation. Uh, in the case where solar's doing great and pushing all that current back from the bottom of the panel, the current's flowing up. If you happen to be running a bunch of loads at the exact same time, current from the utilities coming down from the top feed in this case, and there's nowhere that the 40 amps is additive to the 200 from the utility. So you're not at risk of, of having hotspots or too much current on your bus bar. So that's really what we're trying to avoid is you know, any sort of issues um, with putting too much current on the bus bars. Yeah, so one thing to, to keep in mind here is if, you're, if your math doesn't work out and your inverter continuous output current is a little bit too high to make a load side connection, but you're locked in and you don't have the ability to do an easy supply side connection, uh, one thing that we consider sometimes is derating the main, uh, the main breaker in the panel there. Of course, you have to get the client's approval and, and definitely look at the loads and make sure that that's okay. But in a situation like this panel with a 200 amp, you could possibly derate it down to a 175 and create some more headroom there for you to actually make the math work out and be able to put a breaker uh, down there where that 40 amp breaker is at the bottom of the bus. Uh, so that is an option to, to consider uh, when you need to use it. Yeah, thanks for that. That's a great point, Ray. Okay, so that wraps up our discussion here on 705.12b31 and 2, which are just the start of interconnection on bus bars. So we'll have further uh, code corners on um, other topics or additional topics within 705 there. So the images that we were using as well, those were straight from some of our group workshops, which you can learn about those and our design services at our website, which is mayfield.energy.